say, man, remember what I said when I said what I said, because I'm the one what said it. Just take a listen. Y'all let me know if y'all see it like I see it, or maybe I'm tripping. And then the other thing is, man, maybe, I, maybe I'll talk about this tomorrow, but that adrenaline thing with the stamina bars and all of that, bro, I really hope that that's something that doesn't start taking impact until you cross half court. Because if it takes impact before you cross half court, and you only get three boost, three speed boosts for the whole possession, I'm a lot, you can make anybody that presses now you're gonna have a reason to press because anybody that presses, you're like, why are you pressing? I'm why making pressing? him use up all three of his adrenaline boosts before he crossed half court. Now he can't do anything. That has to be, that has the, the ability to be very detrimental and game breaking as well. So if you're a bad player or if you're just a mediocre player, you're going to hate playing the game because why you gonna a hate player it? like me, if, you, if you're just a regular guy, I'm gonna make you speed boost three times before you come across half court. Really? And then what's gonna happen? Now you're gonna be slow and you, or you have to pass the ball. So, like I said, a lot of this stuff, it just depends on how they implement Sounds it. It's, got the, it's, it's, it's very good ideas, but it's just how they implement it. It just makes me wonder how it's going to work. Anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I'm not... Hey, now, that was something that I was talking about a couple of weeks ago when they went, when they did all the stuff, man. What did they do? They did all of the... Um, they dropped the courtside report. I was reading through it. We were talking about it and stuff like that. And I was just saying, you know, I don't want things... Even though things will benefit me, I don't want it to be that way because I know that it can be detrimental to the game. I don't want a game, and, and, and that's proof that I don't, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I don't just want a game where I'm gonna look like I'm the best player or I'm gonna look like I'm better than the average player and I can do stuff. The, the, also, the, the footage in the background, courtesy of T Mizzle. You wanna see the whole video? Link down in the description, man. That's my guy, man. Also, make sure y'all like the video, man, because every time y'all like the video, man, it helps us get closer to that. Also, covered it, 100K. And last but not least, I want y'all to check out my uh, my site. I hit, I'm sorry if I hit the mic just now. Breeze Tees, man. Um, you know, we got the Saiyan shirt up there. A couple people ordered it already. Your joint's gonna be out tomorrow, man. Change it up, do your thing, all that good stuff, man. But like I said, bro, I just wanted to put that out there because I can't think of a way to explain the way that I feel about 2K and the 2K community any better than that right there. A lot of people just want the game, want a game that fits their play style so they can come up off of it and beat people and make people look like they and and they can look like they're better than what they are. But me, I, myself, I want a game where it's a good, fair game, good playing field, and that things things actually work out and are balanced. Because the main thing about 2K, that's the only thing I really care about. Balance, balance, balance. If things are balanced, I think we'll have a good game and all the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. But if it's not balanced like it hasn't been in the last couple of years, it makes for a bad 2K, videos gonna do bad, all that good stuff. I'm not telling you that I don't want to be successful on YouTube and I don't want this thing to go, but I don't want it to happen at the expense of the game. And with that being said, the boy Mike Wall, he just proved to y'all that he's listening to your boy. Don't this sound extremely specific? NBA 2K23, adrenaline boost notes. You won't lose boost in the backcourt. Should help point guards beat the press. When you run out of boost, uh, when, when you run out of boost, if you pass the ball and wait off ball for a few seconds, you'll get one back. Regen timer only counts when your energy bar is over 50%. Full, I mean, it's 50% full or more. Now, don't that sound extremely specific? Because in that same video I said, maybe you should be able to, if you pass the ball and get it back, maybe you should be able to get a bar back. And I'm just thinking about the game, the way that most people play the game and how it plays. A lot of times you don't have a secondary ball handle out there. Yes, we should have secondary ball handlers out there. Yes, you should have a whole bunch of stuff out there. And But, but the game just doesn't lend itself to that a lot of times. So with that being the case and keeping that in mind, I think that these are some changes that, that I talked about in the video very specifically, and also some next makers out there probably went out there and talked about it, and it just made sense. But y'all can't tell me that I didn't say it first. I looked at it and I, looked, I took one look at it and said, yo, no brother, only three of these? Nah, three speed boosts. I can make you use those before you pass half court. And it, and you really can, man, and I'm gonna explain it to y'all on tomorrow. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all something right here, right here, boom. Like here, you see T right here? You see these right here? It actually tells you 
where you can't go. We're going to get in depth on this tomorrow, but I haven't seen anybody talking about it. You're probably going to see somebody talk about it now because I just said something about it and everybody watched the video, but nobody give me credit. But you, you're going to, this is what I'm talking about. You see this little joint right here? When they start driving, you see, it, it shows you where he can't go. So now it's showing him he can't go forward. When he moves, you see, it, that's the shading system. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to go more in depth on that tomorrow. But like I said, I just feel like that is extremely specific. You don't get no more specific than that, that they, that they listening to your boy. So when we make our voices heard, you know what I'm saying? We, we can get some stuff done. Up next, we had, um, we got Colton says, does adrenaline boost affect the speed of your shot? And he says, no, but low energy does. And then uh, then Dime Work uh, chimes in and he said, Dime Work, AKA Chime Work says, unless you have the amp badge. And then Air Samurai, my boy Sam, please don't patch adrenaline out of the game. Let us adjust as a community. And that's what I'm saying, man. The people that I rock with and the people that I follow and all of that good stuff, man, it's just like, this is what we want. More than having a game that we can dominate at, we want a game where it's balanced and fair and everybody has a chance because the health of the 2K community, far the, the game itself and the health of the community far trumps anything that I could gain just by looking like I'm the best at the game. Actually, nobody like, like nobody cares if you're the best at the game. It's about making content. It's about this stuff right there. Look at all the people that's just that's, that's, that's crazy, blow up crazy off this game. They're they not the best players. The best players are in the 2K League, and the only person that really, really make content is who BP and Bear and stuff like that. So, like I said, man, it is what it is. Up next, you got your boy. Uh, uh, my boy El Cabro Viejo, Mr. Verde. Hey, listen to what he's talking about. Come on, let's get right. Oh, Team Takeover? Team Takeover? Oh, pull it. What the? Verde, you thought it was white, but it's not. It's right. You thought oh, it was yeah. white, but it's not. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I'm out. Look at me play the lane. Look at me play the lane. Get on that rim, boy. Hey, MJ. Oh, yeah, we hanging on the rim. We're trying to get a tech. We're going to hang on this thing. It's my it's rim. Say, I'm hanging oh, on that rim. Oh, we got the tech. Hey, he got the we tech. Got the, oh, man. This is the first the oh, ever bad tech. Kids. In 2K23. Let's look at it. Look at it. Look oh, at it. Yeah. Look at the pass. Oh, yeah, let, let me play get the lane. that. This look is something play the lane. That, that people are probably going to, that, that people going to probably ask and we're going to break this down some more. thought it was white, but it's not. As soon oh, as yeah. he, as soon as he turns oh. it over, look, he gets it. The bars oh, consume. Oh yeah, I'm out. Look at me play the lane. Screen look flips. Me. Now he got all his bars back. Play so the lane. bam, like you get a hey, skill, you get a skill oh, yeah, or something, on the rim. and then you go get the bars get back. Tech. So we gonna hang on this thing. It's my rim. Look at it. Get that tech. Oh, we got the tech. We got the. Oh man. And he said it was bad sportsmanship, and you shouldn't do that, Chad. So kids, don't try this at home. But you know, it is what it is. But like I said, man, this adrenaline thing. I, that was my only concern about it. I always felt like it was a good idea. And like a lot of things with 2K, we know that, that you can't, listen, when you build something like this, it's like a Jenga tower. You can only pull so many threads before the entire thing comes toppling down. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to start back from the beginning. Nobody wants to build it from the ground up. I feel like probably this one is the one that was probably most likely built from the ground up. But y'all understand what I'm saying. You can only pull so many threads before the whole tower comes toppling down. Nobody wants the tower to come toppling down. The only, what we what we do want is we want a game, like I said, that's fair, that's balanced, and that is just, just, just a nice little game uh, across the board. So with that being the case, uh, we're going to talk about what Zara's talking about with about adrenaline right here. And it just says, uh, he just says, think differently. Have a second ball handler, uh, push the ball down the floor, pass, pass to the ISO guard when he's in position to be effective to score. If they can't break him down, pass the ball and let someone else work. Then get it back for another opportunity. That's how the adrenaline is supposed to work. You you try to do something, I, I don't got nothing, give it to somebody else, let them try to work. And then you come back and then try to get it back. And then uh, he, he, he just followed up by saying, this might lead folks exploring to uh, the exploring the non-turbo dribbling moves to uncover the whole, a whole nother level uh, of offensive variety. Or some team who, uh, or some team who concepts like give and go, pass and screen away, uh, heck, a down screen or a down screen or two, then mix it up 
with some isolations. And like I said, this is all stuff that we try to do. We try to implement. A lot of times it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, when we play 2K18, Clutch bring the ball up. Clutch look for something. He can't get nothing. Give it to Man Man. Let Man Man do a little ISO and get on their rim or something like that, man. This is, like I said, this is instant burner uh, gameplay right here, man. So y'all make sure y'all y'all watch my boy. Like I said, go on over there. But this is how we used to run our our 2K18 Pro Am team, and we really only lost to the big teams. We ain't losing nobody, no no mid tier, none of that stuff. We only lost to the big teams or people that was cheesing with the uh, bro. Some people used to come out there and be cheesing with the um. Running the five out with the slashing, what they call them, the slashing, uh, the slashing sharps, and then you have one person that can handle the ball, and you just call back doors all day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And then they all have the same number, so you couldn't call out who was doing what. None of that bull is smart. It's just stuff that shouldn't be in the game. So that's why I was saying when I be saying people are cheesing, that's not good basketball. Everybody can't come out here with number three. And well, 2K shouldn't allow it. They either come out there with the same number or the backwood jerseys. Y'all know what I'm talking about, where everybody number was covered up, so you couldn't tell who the hell was who. And it was just, it was bad, bro. But you know, them the only teams we lost to back then, so it was what it was. Um, one more thing that we got, man. We got a uh, dime work saying kind of funny. I don't see anyone talking about the the switch back, the double throw, uh, the dribble combos. And all that stuff that Mike was talking about, and I know a lot of people probably. I think I think what it is, I think that a lot of people probably did try a lot of that stuff out. But the main problem is that they didn't have the good sigs. And so if you don't got the good sigs, you just have the basic sigs uh, that they had, like like here with Michael Jordan. Like you know, you know in the in the my career, what's it called? The, the the builder. You know you don't get all the moves in the builder. Everybody know that. So. You don't get all the moves in the builder, so you have to take the most basic SCs that, that they got and stuff like that. And they probably was all ass. And so nobody really was like, you know, what you're trying to figure out is like, I'm trying to figure something out, but but we don't have anything in here. Cause like you can't create your own style, you can't create your own jumper, you can't create, you know what I'm saying? You can't create your own stuff. So if this builder that we're working with is like that, I would assume that that builder is like that. And so like people just, they probably just didn't have the best SIGs and stuff to be able to, to experiment with. So that's probably why we're not hearing about a lot of that. Or maybe I'm just completely wrong and we're going to hear about all this stuff tomorrow, man. I don't know. But I tell y'all what, y'all keep it locked here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Got a video for y'all. We're going to be talking about defense. And as soon as they drop that My Career stuff, we're going to be talking about that too, man. Probably going to be doing an interview with my boy T. He going to tell us everything. But in the meantime, y'all need to go over to his channel, watch all them videos, and get abreast of what's going on. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Temp. Guys, please.